Are you thinking about moving to Day City, Florida? In this video, we're gonna concentrate on Day City, Florida. We're gonna show you all around the main areas, show you some different homes in some different neighborhoods, and we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you can get all the market updates on Dade City, Florida. My name is Debbie Diaz, and this is Andres Diaz with the Diaz Group at EXP Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Dade City, Florida, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Dade City. As we said, we're standing here in Dade City, Florida, a very small town, uh, population of 8,000 people. We are just north of Zephyr Hills, Florida, and we are next to, we're putting up to St. Leo, uh, if uh, some of you guys may know, St. Leo University. Which is San Antonio. Right. Um, so the there's two big colleges here, um, St. Leo University being one of them, right in San Antonio, which was literally maybe just two miles up the street from the historic district. Um, and then we've also got a campus, the Pasco Hernando. Um, oh, I think they have several State campuses College. throughout. Right, but they have a campus here as well. I think they have one in Tampa as well. But um, Dade City is a small historic town, that Southern charm, that Southern feel. It's got a historic district. It's got a lot of little shops. Hopefully you can see there. Antique shops, um, barber shops, little jewelry stores, bookstores, ice cream shops. Um, just a place to hang out, walk around, have some coffee, um, go to some several, they have art festivals and things like that. Just yep. outdoorsy type thing. Yep. They have, I know um, at least once a month, there's a nice car show here that gets pretty good results. A lot of uh, roadsters and what have you. Um, I used to come out here as a kid. Uh, my parents um, used to come out here. There used to be a flea market out here. I'm pretty sure that we used to come to either that or antique shop. I can't remember, but we used to come out here for that. But it's it's really grown. It's really developed. Um, but still, it's got a long way to go. Yeah, it's still yeah. that slow paced lifestyle. If you're looking for big city bustling noises and things going on, this is not the place for you. Yeah. Dave City is going to be very laid back. But if you're looking to do something now, uh, to invest now and, and maybe have something large in the future because we can see the growth that's taken from Tampa to Wesley Chapel to Zephyr Hills, it's currently the it's major growth is coming this way. There's no and ifs or buts about it. So it might be a good place to, to find that home on the acre lot. Um, or 10 acres. Or, yeah, or 10 acres. That I mean, that's where you're gonna find yeah, it. Yeah, that's what they're gonna find out here. There is some new construction already going on out here as well. Um, there's a lot of custom homes out here on the acreage. Um, as far as uh, there's not really too much as far as like chain restaurants or anything like that, but there are some very, very good mom and pop restaurants, if you will. I uh, know I know we ate at an Italian place over here not too long ago that was absolutely Amazing. fantastic. Um, the, We've got Green Door on 8th that's really popular, um, like a five-star restaurant. Um, that cafe Coco Pelli is really amazing. A lot of little mom and pop places. Um, again, not your typical chain restaurants um, in this little historic area. So let's take a ride. We're gonna show you around the city a little bit. Um, uh, maybe we'll find a tractor supply or something. We'll show you around there. But that, that's the kind of city that we're in. Um, I know there was a dairy farm here years ago. I'm not sure if that's still around or not, but um, let's go, let's take a ride. Here's Dade City, Florida. Here's what we're talking about, the small restaurants, mom and pops. Francesco's is the one that we just passed, from a great Italian restaurant. Um, here we're getting ready to pass the Dade City Brew House. Really cool spot. That's fairly new. Yep, and this month they are hosting Oktoberfest. So if you're looking for a bunch of German beers, that would be the place to go. Another hot spot here in Dade City is the Wine Library. They have certain nights where you can go in and paint wine glasses, just um, do some art and, and crafts while you're uh, enjoying a Merlot or a Pinot. Or a Chateau. The Beef Old Brady's. It's, it's got, you know, it's got its little pubs. It's got, a, look, where do you find a, a comic book store, an antique store? 
that, that's what Dank City is about. And I'm sure there's a ton of uh, feed stores around too. Our first stop in Dade City is going to be in a brand new community called Heritage Hills. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of construction going on around me. Um, this community just opened in the middle of last year, and I wanted to give you an idea of what you can get for $300,000. So the home right here that's under construction is listed at three hundred nine. It is a three bedroom, two bath, just over 1300 square foot so a bit of a smaller home but if you wanted to go to something a little bit bigger a five bedroom you can actually be in this community in the mid 500s so this community heritage hills right now you can get homes between 300 to 500 thousand it's not going to be an amazing master plan community um it's just gonna have your, maybe a dog park. Um, we did pass a children's playground at the top of a little hill. So it's gonna have a few things, but it's just not gonna have your, you know, guarded gate. Um, I don't think it's gonna have a resort style pool or any amenities just like that, but it's a pretty good entry level community to get into. And the builder is DR Horton. If you do have any questions on it, please give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you here in Heritage Hills. Here we are at stop number two. We are currently in Lake Javita, which is a golf course community. Um, the home behind me is currently on the market for 599,000. So right under 600,000. It's a four bedroom, four bath home, 3,200 square feet. So a nice larger home. And I just wanted to give you an idea of what Lake Javita is known for. And that is it's beautiful golf courses. This community has two different golf courses. Um, and this one's located right on the 15th fairway. So you have this nice view every day when you wake up walk around and again we told you that um, Dade City is going to have some hills not necessarily as big as North Carolina but there are going to be some really nice size um, hills when you're driving through so it'll give you that country feel again just to give you an idea this is what six hundred thousand dollars can get you in Lake Juvita and we're going to drive through this entire community because you can get homes in here well into over the millions they even have villas in here that start um, right under five hundred thousand so if you were looking to retire or maybe downsize and want to be in a really nice gated golf course community Lake Juvita is one that you're going to want to give us a call on all right let's go check out the golf course Hey guys, and here we are at property number three. We're still in Dade City, and I kind of wanted to give you an idea of what Dade City is to me when people say they are looking for land, they want to build a house, they want to have some cows, horses, goats, chickens, things like that. This is where I would take them. So the home behind me currently is on the market. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, modest 1500 square feet, but it is sitting on 10 acres. So if you're looking to do any of the above as far as animals and horses and things like that, or let's say you have four wheelers and ATVs and you just wanna go dirt bag riding, Dade City would be the place that you wanna start looking at. Um, before when people asked for land, I used to tell them Zephyr Hills was the area. Well, that was 10, 15, 20 years ago. And now that that's all built out, Dade City, San Antonio, these are the areas that you should be looking at. So if you guys have any questions, please feel to drop a comment. Um, our link is below. Shoot us a text, send us an email, or just simply give us a call because we'd like to help you make that smooth move to Dade City. We hope to see you around town.